Chain dogs are open to attack by people and other animals, and when they are chained, they cannot escape or defend themselves. Chain dogs often injure themselves by tangling their chains, and many owners make collars extremely tight to keep the dogs from being loose. This can cause neck and tracheal injuries common in chain dogs. In 2007, Amanda Arrington and a small group of volunteers started building free fences for dogs who would otherwise live continuously at the end of a chain. In three short years, the Coalition to Unchained Dogs has grown to over 100 volunteers in Durham, Raleigh, and Chapel Hill, North Carolina. These volunteers have built nearly 300 fences and freed over 400 dogs from the chains. The Coalition also provides free spay meter vaccinations, and basic veterinary care for every dog it serves. For the humans, the dogs, and the volunteers, the results are nothing less than spectacular. Why do you volunteer for the coalition? Um, because it's very rewarding when the dogs get released. You know, you see them go through such a transformation, and then all of a sudden you take them off the chain and they're a whole new dog, and it's really very rewarding. It's amazing. You don't get it, you come out. I was listening to the news and I heard you guys and I was like, she really needs a, um, a fence because she's going in heat so I can just stop worrying. I say nobody wants to keep their dogs chained up and for people who can't afford fences, this is a great opportunity for them and for their pets. <laughs> but it doesn't stop with building fences. Coalition volunteers have also helped pass laws in their community that restrict the practice of chaining dogs. How can you join this effort? Connect with us on our YouTube channel where you can watch weekly videos of the dogs that we've helped. Go to our website, unchainedogs.org, to contact us about volunteer opportunities, contribute to support our continued work, and even sponsor a specific chained dog. Finally, help us take Coalition to Unchained Dogs nationwide. The Coalition has already assisted, trained, and inspired a number of similar groups across the country. From Chain Free Asheville in Western North Carolina to our friends Fences for Fido in Portland, Oregon. So if you're ready to break the chains, then go to our website, unchainedogs.org. And find out how you can start a local chapter of Coalition to Unchained.